Hey, welcome back everybody. Um, today I wanted to go over some of the uh, videos that I've made on different types of dinners. Um, which ones I feel are some of the easiest ones and the quickest ones to put dinner on the table, especially for a weeknight. Um, some of them will be recipes for chicken. Um, and some other dinner ideas would be um, quesadilla recipes. Um, how to make a quick sandwich, um, an avocado sandwich, um, just using um, simple um, vegetables such as tomatoes, lettuce. We have a tuna fish sandwich. Um, all of these are quick dinner ideas. They can also be used for lunch ideas. Some of them are good cold lunch ideas for work. Um, very easy, quick meals for dinner. So um, we're going to begin with the one on the screen right now, and that one is the chicken um, salad wrap. And that was very simple. All I did was um, chop up some vegetables and some tomatoes, lettuce. I believe there was onions in there, cucumber, and I just chopped it up, diced it a little and a little bit of um, mayonnaise. You can, but then you can use whatever dressing you like. And um, this was super quick. And if you have some flour tortillas, you can wrap up your sandwich with the um, tortilla. And you've got a quick, easy, homemade sandwich. You didn't have to go out anywhere to get it. You didn't have to stop anywhere after work. You went straight home. And as long as you have all of these ingredients, which are easy to get, or you probably have them at home already, which is tomatoes, lettuce, some chicken breasts. It could be chicken breast. It could be chicken tenderloin. It can even be any type of meat that you have. It could be cold cuts. Okay. Whatever you have that's handy, quick to fix. If you have some of the steakums, thinly sliced steaks you can use that um, and you can put this together in no time and even picky eaters will eat, will eat this okay so now we're gonna go to our next um, dinner that was very easy very fast and this is one of my favorites and it's a tuna on toast and it's so simple you can use um, celery onions black pepper um, mayonnaise so simple you toast your your you mix everything together you toast your bread um you could use a toaster oven you don't have to turn on the whole oven and heat up your home very simple you slice it in half and um this is one of my favorite things to eat and this is great for lunch too you know and um it's easy to keep cold you put it in a bag if you're taking it to work and keep something cold in there, like uh, if you have a um, freezer bottle of water beforehand and put it in the baggies with your sandwich. Well, not with the sandwich, but near your sandwich. Keep everything cold because you don't want your mayonnaise um, heating up during the day. So something to keep it cold until you get to your lunchtime. Or if you have a refrigerator handy at work, just store it in the refrigerator and you're good to go. And if you're like me, you, you like tuna fish, it's one of your favorite things to eat. This is such a simple and quick um, weeknight recipe. Um, a lot, I know children like this, and if, as long as they can eat tuna fish, you know, I, I know many picky eaters, I have them in my family too, that will eat this sandwich with no problem. Okay, and then the next, recipe I've made in one of my videos is the um, this is the steakum sandwich and what I did was I bought this uh, frozen steakums and if you it doesn't really matter the brand they're thinly sliced pieces of steak and they're frozen this it's in the frozen aisle and you cook it quickly it's very fast to, to prepare you've, and you've got tomatoes you slice them up thin I use romaine lettuce. You can use whatever lettuce you have, any vegetables you like, cucumbers, and I slice some avocados very thinly, and um, and I assembled my sandwich. And I also use mayonnaise. And for the breading, you can use whatever breading you like. You can use rolls, 
You can use Italian bread, you can use sliced bread, whole grain bread, um, whatever bread, wheat bread, whatever bread that it is that you enjoy eating. It really doesn't matter. That's the bread that you know, you'll be making your sandwich with. It's for you to enjoy. You make it your way. And again, um, this is not only good for, um, for dinner. This is such a fast and enjoyable dinner, and I really enjoy this. You can also make this for, for lunch. So you make extra. You take it to lunch. And um, the avocados, I don't know if you may want to put the avocados in there. They might discolor, or you can wrap them up separately. Um, or you just leave them out. If you're taking this to work for for lunch at work again you don't have to use mayonnaise if you don't like that and i know a lot of people don't like mayonnaise you can use dressing of your choice um black pepper um you can use a little bit of salt if you like and you can also you don't if you don't want the whole because I know when I remember assembling the sandwich, it kept slipping, the avocados kept slipping out, the tomatoes kept slipping out. So what you can do is you can chop everything up together, like a little chopped salad. If you're going to make, like you're making a chopped sandwich, chop everything up together with the meat. And um, then you can just put everything, and it'll hold together. As long as you add dressing or mayonnaise as a binder, it'll hold together. And then you can... Put it on your um, your bun, your bread, your roll, and it'll hold. Okay, and I think that's also a very good meal to make really quickly. Um, it's also uh, also for the weekends. It's a weekend dinner idea that's really quick to make. Um, all of these sandwiches are so fast and easy. And as um, even if you don't have everything that's here on on the video, it's to, you don't you don't need much to make a great sandwich to make a tasty sandwich you don't need much okay then we have um french toast and you know a lot of people and i do myself like to eat breakfast for lunch and for dinner and one of my the things that i sometimes have a craving for are french toast and french toast they're so simple to make you just take the egg you add a little bit of milk into your French toast. And I normally leave the cinnamon out because I don't really like the cinnamon. But I, you know, I do mix the French toast and the um, a little bit of salt. And and if I'm using salted butter, then I'll leave off, leave off the salt. I don't use it. And um, and I make a few of these at a time. And this is so simple and so quick and you can also make this to take to work just make a few you know make a bunch at a time so you can have you know you've got it for breakfast you've got some for lunch and you've got some for dinner and there are also other breakfast things that i like to make that i like to eat not only for breakfast but for for lunch and dinner and i'll cover that in in other videos but um this is one of my my favorites that I like to eat, and, and I really do love French toast, and I know a lot of people do like French toast, and we all make, you know, our dishes a little bit different, you know, I don't always make things traditionally, I like to make them to taste, so when you make your French toast, you know, you make it to your liking, you know, some people like to add a little bit of um, vanilla extract, some people like to put um, fruit on theirs, some people like to um, pour syrup over theirs, so whichever way it is that you like to make your French toast, you're the one that's going to eat it. Your family's the one that's going to eat them. And if you've got picky eaters, then you have to tailor it. So you know what? You make it the way that you like. And, I'm, you know, we're, we're the ones that are going to eat it. So, you know, enjoy. So then we're going to go to the last video I have here, and that's for the quesadillas. And I remember when I made these quesadillas, I had used... Um, it was chicken, cucumber, onions, tomatoes. I don't remember if I used um, lettuce, but um, and cheese. And because you need to use a cheese as a binder, as a glue, you know. So when you you're you've got all your filling fillings like your, the cucumbers, tomatoes, and such. And what you do is you're gonna lay your flour tortilla flat on the pan. 
you're going to put a layer of cheese first, whichever cheese it is that you like. It could be shredded cheddar, mozzarella, provolone, whatever cheese that you like. You're going to put it down. It doesn't even have to be shredded. It could be sliced cheese. It doesn't matter. Whatever you like. Then on top of that, you're going to add your meat and your vegetable, your fillings, whatever. Then you're going to add another layer. You're going to sprinkle another layer of cheese on top of that. Okay, you're going to fold your quesadilla over, or if you don't want to do that, because I, on the screen you see that I have them folded over in half, what you can do is um, you can lay another whole flour tortilla on top of that one, on top of uh, the cheese layer, and you can have a whole round tortilla, which you can eat like that or later cut in half or into different slices. But mostly, just for time's sake, I fold it in half and I let one side get a little golden. I turn it over and add a little bit more butter on the underside and let that side get a little golden too. And by this time, the cheese in the inside is melted and it's nice and warm in the inside. It's all heated up and you're good to go. And all of this, you know, you can have it prepared the day before in your um, refrigerator or when you come home, it's so easy to chop up just a handful of vegetables, your chicken or whatever meat you want to have inside, or if you don't want, you just want the vegetables and the cheese. That's quite all right too. That's that's delicious also. And you know you can you're again you're making things to your liking. So I hope you like this video. These are I just wanted to go over some of the things that um, I enjoy making that are quick and after work and I, and they really take very little bit of time. They're, um, not, I'm not going to say stress-free, but they take, you know, such little effort that, you know, before you know it, you've got dinner on the table and everyone's fed and happy. And um, I just want to say thank you to everyone that has commented on my videos and all the very nice um, comments that I've gotten. And I've always tried to make sure to get back to you whenever you've commented. I enjoy reading each and every comment and I really enjoy when you like my videos and you share them. And you let me know. So guys, enjoy and I'll see you next time.